Being an artist is a difficult profession. It might be the hardest profession because you got to wake up every day like the rents do, but even though you perform your work, that doesn't mean you're getting paid necessarily until someone, someone gets behind you. Nine people out of 10 would say, hey, art is valuable. I value it. I, I enjoy it. But not nine people out of 10 would say, hey, I've actually purchased art or I've supported artists. Art to be sustainable has to be financially supported. The, the easiest way for people to get behind art and support art is if they have a connection to the artists. And when people can have access to that and connect to that, it's easier for them to support that. The culture in Austin is, hey, I live in this high-rise million dollar condo, but I go to New York City to buy art, or I buy art in DC or Santa Fe, or what, you know, I, I, I don't necessarily look for art in Austin. So that was the whole goal from day one, is to, to basically infuse art into downtown. The idea started with two dudes that didn't ask permission, they just started doing stuff, and it turned out people liked it. What we've tried to do is train people on how to consume art. Street art, graffiti culture is in vogue right now, whereas five years ago that was not the case. That was still a criminal activity, whereas now half of Austin is rooting for the people that tag up the Lamar Bridge. They know the artists, they know their style, they can pick it out of a lineup, and people are, people are tuned into that wavelength. It's fun for me when I get a call from one of my artists that says, hey man, I just quit my job, I'm full time. And that's happened a couple times in the last, in the last year. Those artists are now busier, than, I mean, they, they've got more work than they can handle. And of the 30 artists that are in this space right here, there are maybe half or so that are full time. I feel like this time right now is pretty electric where you can kind of tangibly feel that energy and, and see that movement. The exciting thing is that being in the scene as you see all this stuff um, changing and, and improving. The people that I look up to the most are the people that are grinders. They wake up every day and they put in the hard yards to make, to make stuff happen. And I feel like all the people that you meet that, that have lived a great story and that, and that you sort of look up to and that um, when, when you sort of reach that level, uh, to me that's, that's what Lived a Great Story is about. It's about the people that uh, don't stop. They don't ask permission, they just do their thing. What live a great story means to me is to wake up every day, shine your shoes, and hit the streets.